So I've updated the marker and it's now a lot easier to add. So I'm going to show you how to add that and it's also a lot easier to customize. So I'll show you how to customize it too. So the first thing you're going to do is go download the Unity package and install it and that will get you this directory which will have snail marker prefab, this marker prefab. So you'll take this marker prefab, drop it on your avatar somewhere. If you want to use your own mesh, so for example, there's a bow mesh here, you can change the mesh there. And if you want to position where the trail comes out, you can move the trail position game object and that will choose where the trail comes out. For me, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the marker and paste some values I already have. So now that you have your mesh in place and the trail coming out of the correct spot, we'll come down to trail source and this is where you can select the color or whatever you want for the marker to draw with. So if you use the texture, it'll repeat the texture that's right there. If you use gradient, it will use this, this gradient editor. So that would be a rainbow trail. If you use solid color, you can pick whatever color you want, and that will be the color that the trail draws. And then for all of the animations and override stuff, you click the do everything button, and it will give you all of the files and wire up everything you need. So we'll make a new folder for it to put files into. And once it's generated everything, you'll have your overrides controller. And so you can just wire up what you want. So drawing, I'll use finger point and for erase all, I'll use hand open. And that's it. Once you've got this, everything set up, the overrides are already configured for you. Everything's good to go.